we've used the rapid review guidelines most extensively because you know we have to be quick off our feet. Uh, emergency room physicians don't have a whole bunch of patients, so they need data. They need it to be consolidated, accurate, and and relevant. So uh, the RRGs are very useful for us. I use them most frequently when I look at something, and you know I can make out right away from. Uh, our case managers actually prepare our notes according to those guidelines and look at those when they prepare the summary. We've actually templated it. It's like a preliminary IEF, but we've created our own template because we don't have the IEF yet. So our case managers, when they write a review, they use that template that we created. Um, and it's pretty much along those guidelines. So the guidelines are used to create the template. Uh, progression of care, you know, intensity of care, um, the exceptions of care, for example, if you have an extended stay, why? So they, they they borrow heavily from that. In fact, IEF probably more than IED because IED is really after uh, for the case managers, but IEF to let our clinicians know uh, where this patient should go. Should the patient come in at all? Maybe there are other alternatives to admission. You know, you could go to the nursing home from there. You could go to an infusion center. You can have a rapid discharge pathway, or you can have hospital at home. So all these avenues, you know, the ED docs, I'm an ED doc, are interested in seeing the next patient, saving lives, resuscitating. We are not masters of disposition. We need someone to help us. And that help would be invaluable if it was timely before, you know, before you push the button for admission. So we want to make sure that everybody gets placed correctly.